Hey everyone, it's Scott from startmedia.com and today we'll be covering the Simple 301 Redirect plugin. Simple 301 Redirects is a great Simple 301 Redirection plugin found on the WordPress.org repository. The plugin allows you to easily set up redirections from one page to another without causing too much headache and it even supports wildcard URLs. After installation, you just access it by going to Settings and 301 Redirects. So 301 redirects allow you to redirect content that you're no longer using or you've deleted to another type of page with additional content. So on this website, for instance, I have the default WordPress Hello World post. And typically you move the, you get rid of this post. And I'm going to send it to, we're gonna send it to this uncategorized category because this was the category that it was categorized in and therefore it should be related to it in any sort of content that's in there. After hitting save, it will now redirect the hello world post to the uncategorized category, as you just saw. Now, because it's just a simple redirection, it will still list that post, but it won't be really accessible to the user. And that's the ideal situation in this case. Now, working with simple redirects is a very useful functionality and it's great to have it. But what you really wanna end up using a plugin like this for is wildcard redirects. Wildcard redirects allow you to do some interesting changes. So for instance, let's say I have the URL structure for this category. And let's say I wanna match any and all categories and I don't wanna have category pages anymore. I want them completely gone. I can simply take this URL structure and redirect it to say this hello world post. And what this will do is it'll match anything in the category subdirectory and redirect any of them to the hello world. So we're gonna come over here and the uncategorized category on reload should send me to the hello world post and it did and now it's in a slight redirect loop because we've told it to redirect itself here so we're just going to change that and hit save and then we're going to hit this uncategorized url again so as you can see it now always sends you directly to the post from the uncategorized url but what if you want to do a different one that may be one that doesn't exist so because we've used the wild card we actually have full support for redirecting from any category so let's just say we did pie. My category is pie. It's going to then also redirect that to the hello world post. But now let's say we did something a little bit more complicated. Let's say that we want to redirect the uncategorized URL, the uncategorized category to the same URL without the category suffix. Uh, prefix. So we could set up a redirect rule to work like this. So now this URL, I can set it to redirect to its uncategorized version. Now, because this page doesn't technically exist, the category will not work. But I'm going to show you what happens when you do this. So it redirects the, the category to the uncategorized page. Now let's say that you've made a modification to the way your URLs work and you stripped the category base from the URL. What you can do then is you can use another wildcard redirect to simply work like this. So now that we've, we've told it anything that's in the category subdirectory, any match for it, should be redirected to anything outside of that. So I've clicked the category uncategorized and now it's told it to move to the uncategorized section. So what it's done is it's taken the wildcard here. It matched, okay, in this category subfolder, this is, an un, this is uncategorized. And what it has instead done is it's taken that name and it's moved it to the uncategorized URL. Now, this is really simple functionality and I'm even gonna do change this real quick just so that way it's soothes by and there you go Simple, but it's really useful functionality because it allows you to handle bulk redirects for changes in url structures either from move or from changes yoast seo for instance used to allow you to strip the category base now there's not really a direct seo benefit from doing this but if you had done it and you hadn't set up 301 redirects 
This will allow you to quickly and easily set up proper 301 redirects to those new URLs. And all in all, it's a really great plugin. It truly fits the name of simple 301 redirects. I do wish that it was a little bit more advanced in the wildcard area, or at least that it was a little bit better documented. The documentation is literally just you click here and it shows you how this works. But I'm not really too interested in how it works. Another interesting thing is, is if you only match it by the subfolder, so you try to redirect slash category like this, it will change it will it will not match that as the request url because it's already doing the logic to check for the relative url so some things like that just don't make it a very appealing plugin to use because some of the shorthands that you learn to use when you write 301 redirects in HD Access and apache or an nginx don't apply here because it already does it on its own and it doesn't seem to warn you about that so i wish there was some kind of visual feedback like slash category like this doesn't appear to match this category or maybe it was just a matter of how i was writing it but those are my thoughts on the simple 301 redirects plugin if you are using it it's an awesome plugin i've used it before in the past and i highly recommend it otherwise thank you so much for watching and goodbye